Man with a cover story is trying to get into homes in El Cajon, but it appears he picked the wrong great grandmother to mess with. New at 6, 10 News reporter Michael Chin talked with her and reveals how a, a knock on the door turned into lies, flirting, and a loud confrontation. When the man approached the store, it appears he was up to no good. But little did he know who he was about to meet up with on the other side of the door. He was so persistent and he was aggressive. That's 75 year old Shirley Johnson talking about the man who showed up at her door in the morning two weeks ago. She says he had a crude badge. I noticed it said GE. He asked if he could come in to check her smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. She told him she wasn't interested, but says the man, a young Hispanic man wearing a shirt and tie, got more insistent. He moved a little closer and he put his foot in my door. And I said, get your foot out of my door. Moments later, he tried another tactic. He said, you have pretty green eyes. I said, that's not getting you anywhere. One reason? The 75-year-old great-grandmother is also the matriarch of the neighborhood watch in El Cajon, starting a nightly citizens patrol four years ago. As the man moved closer, she had an urge to punch him. Just bam! And he'd be down. Instead, she decided to yell at him. I said, get out of here now. He did leave and Johnson called police, but they didn't catch up to the man and he's since been busy. On an online police message board, there are numerous posts describing a similar man claiming to be from GE, as in General Electric, or sdg &E, trying to get into homes. A result that may have played out at this home if he hadn't met up with Johnson. And I said, you better get out of here right now. You don't know who you're messing with. Michael Chen, 10 News. Don't mess with her. Now let's take a closer look at where officers say a man posing as that utility worker has been spotted. It's in this El Cajon neighborhood right here that borders the 8 freeway just south of Madison Avenue and El Cajon Boulevard here just to this area. This whole area shaded in blue. That's the area where people should be on alert. SDG&E wants to remind you their workers always have on a badge with a photo ID where you can see it.